January 2nd, 2018. This is a follow-up video to yesterday's body language video on April Lejeune, where I stated, I just don't trust her. I thought that there was just something not right. I could smell it, and I went with my gut feelings. Now, I did not have a chance to do a whole lot of digging. I was just going on a visual inspection of her face. I did not trust her, and you've probably seen the video. If not, go ahead and watch it. But the thing is, I did not really have a whole lot of evidence. I admitted that. But I, did, I didn't have to do much digging at all. I did a little bit more digging, and I found something extremely alarming. So this is the follow-up evidence video. Now, I said in the last video that I didn't really put too much into this complaint here. I just added it in there for evidence. But again, I don't put too much into this evidence. It's he says, she says, you know, big deal, loss of trust, blah, blah, blah. This is not important to me, but what I'm going to share with you today, the new evidence is extremely important. Matter of fact, it's so important that if you were to listen to April and take some of her advice, you would end up in jail. It truly is a honey trap. I really did not have to dig that deep to find this honey trap. It's, um, quite frankly, it's a scam that April is selling for $350. I mean, she's got a bunch of videos on it. She's not hiding it. The only question I have is how is she getting away with it? I mean, I can assure you, if I was selling the scam online that April was selling, I guarantee you the FBI would already be knocking down my door and they'd have my Gentile wrist and handcuffs. I mean, it truly is. It's alarming. Okay, so the scam I'm talking about is accepted for value. Now, I'm also going to include in this video the Trump matrix of shills. Now, I consider her a Trump shill. We've talked about it that in the other video, QAnon, all the Trump shills. So this accepted for value scam that she's promoting, it all ties into the Trump matrix of shills. So I'd like to include that into the video again. I'm gonna, we're going to go down the line and we're going to document all the Trump shills. Okay, so let's first of all, we're going to go into the evidence. Okay, what really alarmed me was it's one thing to make a video about accepted for value, but then you're taking it a bigger step when you actually sell a package for $350. That's taking it the next step. That's what law enforcement looks for normally. I mean, like I said, there's one thing if you put your opinion on the Internet. If she goes on to YouTube and she puts her opinion on the Internet that accepted for value is okay, and then you have these guys knock down your door, I mean, that's one thing. But when she starts selling the product, that's a whole different ballgame. Now, I'm not here to back up the IRS or back up the FBI. I'm just here to tell you they are the ones with the guns. They are the ones with the badges. They are in charge. They write the laws. I mean, if you're going to go up against the IRS and the FBI, good luck. <laughs> many people have tried. Many people have run. Many people have been locked up. The scam is called acceptance for value. Don't take my word for it. Here it is on the FBI page. The FBI considers it fraud. Matter of fact, at the bottom of this page, they even, they, they, it's kind of confusing, but they say if anybody here is advocating the use of property liens to coerce the acceptance of this scheme, contact your FBI. I can assure you, again, if I had anything to do with this, the FBI would be knocking on my door. This is what would happen to you or I. If you're a Gentile and you're promoting this scam, this is what's going to happen to you. You don't have to believe in our system. You don't have to believe in our tax laws. All you have to do is believe that they have the badges and they have the guns. So, anyhow, yesterday I made the video. It was just a body language. It was a gut feeling. It was my opinion. Are they going to pay me? No. They're not going to pay me. Now, the, the good thing about this is when they don't pay me, I don't have to pay taxes. And if I don't pay taxes, and there's a bunch of us who don't pay taxes, the system collapses. So it doesn't really bother me too much that they're not paying me. 
But it's the hypocrisy where they get paid, and they get paid a lot of money, but us Gentiles, they don't want to pay us. So now we're going to go into the matrix of shills, the Trump matrix of shills. Now, I really don't talk about this lady very much. She's kind of new to the YouTube game, and she shot up dramatically. Of course, she's going to have ads by Google, and of course, she even makes money through Patreon. So she makes a pretty penny. She is paid handsomely for what she does. Like I said, over 200,000 subscribers in a short amount of time. These are all the signs that she, she's in on it. Now, I'm not going to tell you that she has a DOD card in her purse, uh, but possibly it works the same, lot, the same way that the Alex Jones Steen show works. Okay, she's been on the Alex Jones show. So now all we're going to do is go down the list. Right now I want to document all these people who are shills for Trump, I believe somehow they're tied into uh, intelligence agencies. I believe they're getting paid handsomely. And we just need to uh, do document these people. Okay? If you are against Trump, like she does body language videos on, against Joy Villa. If you're an enemy of Trump, her body language videos will be negative towards you. If you are for Trump, her body language videos will be positive. You see, she's nothing but a Trump shill. Is it a coincidence that she popped up on the scene right around the time that Donald Trump was campaigning? 2016, she, uh, Donald Trump is campaigning. Alex Jones comes on to this uh, show. Alex Jones starts promoting Donald Trump profusely. And then now, so we're just going to go down the list and document. I'm not going to be able to hit all of them, but they all have one thing in common, or a couple things in common. Well, number one, they get promoted heavily, they make a lot of money, and of course they're connected to the tribe. Okay, Lionel's one of them. Now over here on the related channels, I'm going to be using this a lot, the related channels. This is how YouTube promotes channels. Now it really has nothing to do, like if you go to Jason Goodman's channel, I don't think he has a lot of control, he has no control on who the related channels are. So the related channels are who YouTube is promoting. So it is a matrix. Now there are there can be some good guys tied in there with, with the related channels. Like there could be some good people in there. I think that Richie from Boston. I think Richie from Boston does some good work. I mean his numbers are pretty high. Uh, but I'm just saying that we're going to document the shills, and this is a good way to identify them. They're over here on the related channels. They're promoted by YouTube heavily okay and of course if you tell the truth you're buried there's one thing you're never going to see over here if you ever see bravo von mueller in the related channels you should let me know because maybe they're starting to wave the white flag and they're coming to the table to negotiate but i i don't think so most of these people over here are going to be the shills promoted okay i don't want to beat a dead horse but this is how i'm going to document it okay now, we talked about Colonel Roy Potter. He, um, he's moving up quickly, and uh, he promotes QAnon, I believe. They all tied into Pizzagate, Bitcoin, QAnon. That's the sign. I mean, the problem with Colonel Potter is he has that nice face. He's believable, looks like a nice guy, and uh, he even... Uh, talks about the Bundy tyranny, and then boom, he throws in all this other stuff. Pizzagate, Bitcoin, QAnon. Okay, now this is the boring part. I realize this is boring right here, but I have to document this because later on, you could go a year, two years down the road, a lot of these people are going to have a million subscribers. The Next News Network already has close to a million subscribers. I mean, and we have to document now why and how they got there. Why were these people promoted? Why are they being promoted? And over here, this is how they do it, through the related channels. This is how YouTube does it. Now, I will repeat, it's possible that there's a good guy in there. In those related channels, sometimes they throw a good guy in there, but most definitely, if you're over here in the related channels, you are not criticizing Israel. That's the standard bearer right there. If you are, if you criticize Israel, you will definitely 100% not be in the related channels. You will not be promoted. 
Okay, but you're look. You see all the. You see the same names: Lionel, Alex Jones, the next news network. I don't know who M. Lord God is. I mean, it's Fox News. It's obvious. David Seaman, for God, for God's sake, look at this. Unbelievable. David Seaman, Alex Jones. Now I realize I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. And I guess I'm going to keep on repeating myself, just documenting it, because this is part of the scam, isn't it? It's the Trump matrix of shills. Fox, Fox News. It's unbelievable that Alex Jones actually has more subscribers than Fox News, but that's the online, online's all the rage. Now, does this connect with the April or June scam of accepted for value. It does all play in there. I will say this. I don't think that April or June is going to get on the Alex Jones Steen show anytime soon because even though Alex Jones is controlled opposition, he is the master of misdirection. I mean, but he's not, he has lawyers backing him up and the lawyers are not stupid. If April or June is promoting something that's illegal, that the FBI says is fraud, then it's a good chance that she will not be invited on the Alex Jonestein show. I mean, you know, give Alex Jonestein that much. I mean, he's got 2 million subscribers. He's got serious lawyers. They are particular, uh, but they're still, it's all in the matrix. They're all on the same matrix team, but only the creme de la creme get invited to the Alex show. Now again, okay, we go here to QAnon. Just going to briefly look. Okay, who's promoting QA not. You got April Lejeune. That's what caught my attention. I mean, I didn't even know who this lady was. And then by just because she was promoting QA non, then I found out about the uh accepted for value scam. And that was really alarming. You got Tracy Beans, David Seaman. I mean, we got all the regular players here. What does law enforcement call them, you know, when uh, a crime has been committed, uh, the law enforcement people say, oh yeah, round up all the usual suspects. Yeah, what we have here is all the usual suspects. And we're just going to show, who's, who's this? Uh, Jerome Corsi. Yes, with Infowar.com. David Knight. I mean, I like David Knight. Don't get me wrong. I, may, I thought maybe David Knight was trying to get away from Infowars. I mean, I will say that much. For some reason, I like David Knight, but he's still, he's promoting QAnon. I mean, here, Pete Santilli, what a disappointment. What a huge disappointment. Pete Santilli is now promoting QAnon. I mean, his, maybe his ratings are so bad, he's getting frustrated, he's getting desperate. I mean, come on, Pete. Pete Santilli, you got to be able to know that QAnon, you're being played. Or maybe he's maybe maybe he fooled me. Maybe Pete Santilli fooled me. Maybe he was involved in the scam the whole time. So here we are. Uh, we'll get right back to accepted for value. I mean, trust me. You don't. You don't need. I had. I had to listen through all this. I mean, I could not believe it. Put the red stamp here. Write it in blue here. Blah blah. If you don't do it exactly like I say, blah, you're going to get in trouble. It's all. It's 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 brutal. Don't even don't even watch it. Don't waste your time. That's why I'm making this video. Do not waste your time even watching April or June because if you take her advice with accepted for value, you are going to be ensnared in a honey trap and these men are going to be knocking on your door. Trust me. Just in case you don't know. If you listen to April or June and her accepted for value scam, these men are going to be knocking on your door. Good luck with that. What will happen to you if you send April or June $350 for her big package program? It's called accepted for value. It is extremely exciting, she says. Really, it is. It's, your life is going to be extremely exciting. I'm going to explain it to you. This is the short version of what's going to happen to you when you send this scam artist $350. 
Yes. Your life is going to get very, very exciting. I mean, that's what happens when you have a long line of these people knocking on your door. Yes, your life is going to be extremely exciting. I said this is going to be the short version. If you want the long version, please go to the Bravo Von Mueller channel, and I'm going to have a longer video explaining this scam. But don't believe me, no. If you think that accepted for value is not a scam, again, don't believe me, just go to the FBI page. I'll show you how to do it. Again, your life is going to get very, very exciting when you send April to June $350 for her acceptance for value program, account. TDA, whatever she wants to call it, I can assure you that April to June is correct. Your life is going to get extremely exciting. So is this a honey trap? Of course it is. Is April to June trying to ensnare some of the dumber people in society? Quite possibly. You be the judge of that.